How did Britain's nuclear bombers compare to France's? During the Cold War, both Britain and France developed nuclear bomber forces, but their approaches differed. Britain's V-bombers, Valiant, Victor and Vulcan, formed the core of its deterrent, boasting robust construction, large payloads and long range. However, increasing Soviet air defences forced a shift to low-level tactics, eventually leading to their nuclear role being superseded by submarine-launched ballistic missiles. France, conversely, relied on the Dassault Mirage IV, a supersonic bomber designed for high-altitude penetration. While fast and possessing a reasonable range, the Mirage IV carried a smaller payload than the V-bombers and was also vulnerable to evolving air defences. France, too, eventually transitioned to submarine-launched missiles and air-launched cruise missiles for its nuclear deterrent. Key differences included the larger size of the British V-bomber fleet compared to the French Mirage Key Falls, Britain's forced adoption of low-level bombing, and the nuances in their respective nuclear strategies, with Britain favouring a minimum deterrent and France emphasising its independent force de frappe. Ultimately, both nations recognised the increasing challenges faced by bomber-based nuclear delivery systems and shifted to submarine-launched options. Which do you think was the best nuclear bomber 